They acted together, but were they alone? The nagging doubts that someone else was involved in the plot to kidnap Shannon Matthews have resurfaced, along with the question, has somebody escaped justice? A number of people have been arrested and some of those have been re-arrested throughout this inquiry. All of the available evidence has been examined and closely scrutinised by the Crown Prosecution Service. There is no evidence whatsoever for other people to stand charged at this time. Clearly, if fresh evidence comes to light further down the line, then that will be, re that will be reassessed by ourselves initially. Then we will, uh, if necessary, pass it on to the Crown Prosecution Service. But at this moment in time, the case is closed. The senior detective was criticised in court for earlier comments in which he described Karen Matthews as a woman of pure evil. He said that he had no reason to change his view. The woman capable of turning on tears at will remained stony-faced and emotionless as sentence was passed. Unusually, the judge himself, Mr Justice McComb, expressed the view that others were probably involved. He said, it must be doubtful whether they could have conceived or continued these offences without the assistance or connivance of others. And it is an opinion shared by the community which once supported Karen Matthews. Everybody knows we haven't heard the full story. Everybody knows we haven't. He's just turned around and he said that, you know, sat on his bench, he's just turned around and said this is not the full story. So obviously it's not the full story and if Karen ain't going to break and say what the full story is, what can us little people, if you like, do to help her? The belief that Karen Matthews may be protecting relatives was strengthened by the revelation that her daughter Shannon told West Yorkshire detectives that while she was being held captive, she spoke to other members of the family. Nine-year-old Shannon went missing from home at Dewsbury Moor in February last year. One of the largest police operations of its kind began following an emergency call to the police from the schoolgirl's mother. Police emergency. Hiya, I want to talk my daughter is missing, please. Right, how old is she? Nine. For the 24 days of her daughter's disappearance, Karen Matthews kept up the pretense that she was a mother distraught because of her child's sudden abduction.